All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here, of course, for Hunter Hunter, Hunter episode, episode 62. 62. Yeah. And we are in Greed Island. We are in Greed Island. Yes. Gone and Killa have just had their awesome friendship talk. They did. Killa had his little bit where he talked mm -hmm. to himself about how, yep. no, Gone, yeah, you're the one that's saving me. Yeah, and that, that yeah. kind of stuff there just really just mm, it's, hits me it's good it's awesome it's good but also we have this mysterious girl with yes very big uh pigtails or right. not pigtails but like head tails yeah, yeah. hair yeah. things right yeah, the, yeah stalking this, them it's this lolly stalker person right um, i'm getting a sundere vibe not a yandere vibe let's let's go for that let's yeah. hope that's what it is yeah <laughs> <laughs> that seems that seems like a much better option <laughs> but uh that being said mm -hmm. i think it would be cool to have some new characters added to the dynamic of gone and kill us since leorio sure. and karapika that's true you know aren't around in greed island mm -hmm. uh we don't need it to be the phantom troop necessarily because they're probably going to be off doing their right. own thing but I think this girl coming in and being a an integral part of their yeah. dynamic could be fun. That would yeah. shake things up a little bit. Right, because we got a lot of good stuff with Gon and Killa by themselves earlier. So right. having another character that we don't already know thrown into the mix, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like and the rule of threes in fantasy is always a that good too. thing to fall back on. Yeah. Um, now, particularly now, with Greed Island mm -hmm. as a thing there, they're going to try and do it all themselves. Because they don't want to... Gon doesn't want to game the system... Right, the, he wants uh, to enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like he's talking to the viewers. He's like, hey, we're just going to have fun here. Which is cool, because I think they're telling us up front that this is going to be a thing where they don't necessarily have to finish the job. They can right. just get some really cool items and stuff and yeah. you know, sell those yeah. or what have you. Mm -hmm. uh, I think those do have to go back to the guy that right. hired them. Unless they... No, there's no way they can. I don't think they can exit through like another copy of the game. No, they yeah. have a card in the right. game that allows yep. you to exit, but you have to exit back in that way. That's right. why they have them kept in that fortress of sorts in case people try to uh, yeah. be a problem, you know, when they come So back I guess out. all they will be leaving with is knowledge. But that's a really big thing that can happen in terms of character development yep. for the two of them. Mm -hmm. Primarily Absolutely. if they focus this around the friendship aspect between right. Gon and Killa, which I think mm -hmm. they will. And that's a yeah. good thing because the last time we did that in a really intense way was the campfire bit outside of Gon's old house on a That's whale true, island. That's true, and that was really good. That was one of my favorite episodes of was, Hunter was Hunter, awesome. like, ever so far. Yeah. Um, other than that, I think we are we are due for some good, like, Greed Island info. Yes. What do you say? Yes, yes. They gave us the rules last episode, so yeah. now we can get into the actual exploration, mm -hmm. I think. All right, this will be cool. So without further ado, let's get into this episode and uh, see what happens. All right, guys, we're going to start the episode in five, four, three, two, one, now. Wait, what? Is this the rock, paper, scissors thing? Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. No way. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <gasps> the sword of truth. Nice. Cool, cool. Oh, it's okay. a tough one. B-22. Cuts anything false. Wow. This is the opening we are not supposed to see. Yep. It really is helpful that they keep the song the same. That way we know when it's going to end. Uh, yes. Yes, that's true. Yeah. I think, if anything, the character with the billowing cape thing we keep seeing the back of, mm -hmm. I'm like, what, like, like, are we not supposed to see, like, a specific scene that happens, like, later in the arc in this yeah, opening? Yeah, that's, that's or what... Or is it, like, I get the specific feeling... characters? I think or... it's specific characters. Okay. That person, I don't think we have to worry about. I think that person is probably Jing. And oh, that like makes sense, because I was actually going to say, thing, I, like, you know, because it's gone, it's going after Right, him. but if that's Jing, does that mean <laughs> we've already been spoiled a little bit? Like, would Jing show up in Greed Island? I don't think so. Oh, okay. I don't think so, because otherwise... It's metaphorical. It's representative exactly, of that they're yeah. searching for Jing. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Um, but there's probably a bunch of other characters in there that we haven't seen yet, or something like that. 
And they probably don't True. want us to see that. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. All right. About to get back into this. Okay, let's bring it back up. Cool, cool. I like the music. Yeah. It's very different. You have to learn some uh, some spells, yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, no. no. <clears throat> With that stance... Just bring out your book. <clears throat> huh! <laughs> they could still kick your butt without anything. Oh, and since it's dang. random, they only have and they only have one. Ha! Ha! Wow. Yeah, that's that's Seriously. a great point. Wow. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh gang. <okay. laughs> Holy crap. They can still beat the crap out of them. What if they just killed you and then, oh no, you don't get the card? <laughs> they took it. I mean, I guess they're all hunters, so... Yeah. <laughs> Getting ganked in the low-level area. Yeah. It's like one of the worst MMOs ever. <laughs> but, like, just because they're all hunters, like, that doesn't necessarily mean they're super great with Nen. I mean, they don't uh, want to risk it, yeah. but... I'm surprised Killa hasn't noticed that she's stalking them. Yeah. Or gone, too. Oh, new characters. Who this? Oh, oh no, the, these uh, are the... Yeah. People assembling uh, their bit. Okay. Okay. It's an S. It's an S level card. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Immune to being. Immune to theft. Yeah. Breath of Archangel. That sounds awesome. Whoa. Okay. Ah. And it's a low level one. Nice. Okay. That's helpful. Yeah. Information gathering. Right, that way they know what they need to look for. Right. Okay. So they're collecting a stockpile, that way they can get it? Yeah. Oh, already. Right. Exactly. So they need duplicates. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah, that's just... Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Monsters. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure. They're not just going to be running through a blank tunnel. Ha! <laughs> They're excited! <laughs> that sounds more like an RPG, yes! I love it. They're like, hey, we could actually get some good stuff from them. Woohoo! Oh, she's just going to reveal herself. I guess. <laughs> yeah, why not? Ha! Wow. Ha! Oh my gosh! Ha! <laughs> 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 oh. She sounds like she's trying to be nice. Uh huh. But she can't hold back her sitting there and nope, like. Nope, nope, not at all. Oh. All right, here we go. Phantom troops here. Oh, Shalnark would be amazing in yeah. here. Yeah. He could just make people give him their stuff. Right. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Right, because they don't have the in-game right. code of sorts. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh. Okay. Dang. Right. Makes sense. Makes yep. a lot of sense. Right, mm -hmm. it's taking place in the real world. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> yes. Sure. A lot more. <laughs> So this is Which a means, pocket dimension of sorts, or another uh, place in the real world. Dang. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't remember. 50 billion. Whoa. But this means all of them could be... Yeah. All of them could be taken back, theoretically. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, Phantom Troop time, they're going to just steal everything. Yep. Yeah. We should learn about all the items. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. And he could have multiple books, theoretically, because he could manipulate people. Possibly. Even if you couldn't steal someone's book? The God Eye? Holy crap. Huh. 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 Jeez. Be sure okay. to take their cards yeah, first. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jeez. And that was the guy that, you know, robbed from them in the beginning. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's just following them? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's kind of creepy, the way she's running. 
but it, kind of silly in a way as well. Right. That's true. <laughs> and they aren't at all curious. She's keeping up. Right. I mean, she's a hunter. Wait, 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 wait. She's calling them a couple of kids, but what does that make her? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is where she's going to show off her usefulness by being, like, a extremely bunch of good with Nan. character designs. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> that all right, that was that hilarious. Was, that was hilarious, yeah. Wait, they're probably NPCs. Yes, yes, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, duh. Right. right. Identical character designs. Oh, yuck. This is one of those light side, dark side choices. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Just being so open about it. Yep. Yeah. But he's not an actual person. But the thing is, is that we've just deduced that this game isn't fully fully much it's not fully a game right but the npcs should still be npcs yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> really <laughs> holy crap Vitamin man defeats you. <laughs> Maybe they're like the most genius bandits ever. And this is all exactly. just an act scam kind of yep. thing. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> Could we have your shoes too? And she just keeps following them. Yeah. I love this. I like the terrain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Some kind of cyclops. Those are big. It's like they actually find out that, oh no, we're <laughs> in way in over our heads. Yeah. They have like a weak spot. Yep, the eye. That makes sense, yep. The eye is the groin of the head. It is. Oh, they just got a card. Oh, poof. At least it's something that, like, makes sense as a weakness. It's not like, right. hit them, like... Hit them in the left butt cheek. You right, know? right.
Yeah, a lot weaker. <laughs> oh no! Oh. Some kind of salamander thing. Sure. <laughs> Why are you running from this one? Well, they don't know his weakness yet. Punch it in the eye? <laughs> it's like something from the Ghibli film. From Spirited Away. One of those little uh -huh. fuzzy things. Are you sure it might be actually be super high level? Yeah. <laughs> She's like <laughs> like aggravated at their ineptitude. Right. But she won't like help them. Well, she's offered to help them before, but right. Exactly. Animal Crossing? Uh, no, don't touch those. Don't touch those. Yep. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Holy crap, this is detailed for a, yeah. just a random creature. Okay. <laughs> okay. So there just like with men, there's going to be lots of mechanics in this yeah. in this game. <laughs> It is causing me physical pain to watch yes. them. Then you should teach them. <laughs> uh, looks zombie just like night. empty armor. <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it just gave up as soon as they saw it. <laughs> no reason. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, she's going to do it really fast. Okay. Nice. She's, she's going to teach you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Yes, I love this. <sighs> yes. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 you haven't. Biscuit, Biscuit Kruger. Kruger. <laughs> Forty years ago... Whoa! Okay. Did she, like, find the fountain of youth or something? No, maybe she's a transmuter to change her appearance oh, or something. Ooh, I can see that. I mean, who knows? Like, could also be just, you know, Hunter Hunter character design. Uh, she's sure. Yeah. A very highly experienced pro hunter. 
<laughs> okay. And we don't want to watch anything in there that could be spoilery, so we'll That's put that right. down there. Just in case. Just in case. Ah. Uh, yeah. So, okay. I thought they were going to have her potential. Because, okay, one of the things I was thinking is that it's like, all right, if this is a Lolly character, mm -hmm. that means she's technically around the same age as Gone. Possibly. So if they wanted to have a character that he had a crush on, this would oh, be a character no, 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 that, no. that would work if they wanted to do that. This but show isn't going to do romance. I don't, no, I don't think so either. But then it was like, oh, and I'm 40, I've been a hunter for 40 years. It's like, oh, <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah, I think the... The, the show, if anything, will develop Gone and Killwa's relationship. Well, yeah, but they've been doing that a ton already, and they've been no, doing kind of... No, no, not that much, really. Yeah, okay. In terms of actual episodes that focus on it, it's an extremely small percentage. Yes, but that's because they've hundred. been doing a slow burn thing. So yeah, I, can I see know. Them, I can see them doing something where they want to build their relationships with other characters, and as that happens... Possibly. Yeah. Tutorial! Tutorial! God, God I, I. yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh. Wow. Okay. Cool. All, All right. right. So we got the new character of Biscuit Kruger. <laughs> I can't tell if that's a reference to something, but it sounds hilarious. Either way, I'm going to have a little bit of trouble taking her seriously with that name. I love her character. Right. I love her character. I love her character. Her personality. A lot. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Yeah. But Biscuit Kruger. No, Biscuit Kruger. Kruger. Okay. Yeah. Either way. Either way, just call her Biscuit. Like, if you have yeah. uh if you have a lolly, like forty something year old Biscuit woman I mean, for all we know, Hunter Hunter, we we don't assume well, that, genders. No, no, no. Like, no, she's not forty years old. She's been a hunter for 40 years. No, I know, but I said so, at least 40-something. Right, yeah, yeah. For all we know, she could have, you know, become a hunter at age 9 or something. Well, right? and since she doesn't look 40, that means that she could I, also be like 100. I think that's actually the key towards understanding what her Hatsu uh, branch is. And I think she's a transmuter. That, I like because that Because that when she learned Nen after finishing mm -hmm. the hunter exam at like age 11 or 12 or something like sure. that. She decided, you know what? I want to look this way forever yeah. so that people will underestimate me. That is that is a good idea. That, that's a really makes good a lot idea. of sense. Oh, because yeah. then what you have is you have this incredibly powerful Nen user walking around as a, as kid, a little kid. And she does the thing where she's like, oh, please, please, yeah, would yeah. you let me help you? And uh -huh. then when people are like, no, like buzz off. She's like, <laughs> like she freaks out just like yeah. but she has like a very strong like self-control thing there in could there be to keep her the from the slightest dash of yandere and not really but like mm, it could be cindere well yeah well definitely cindere yeah um yeah i am really interested to see what they do with her character because we still don't really know why she's interested in them uh, no, I think we do know why. She is constantly oh. using abilities that are, we would know as commonplace, but she can see their Nen potential. And she goes, well, they have, she, she, she called them mm -hmm. raw diamonds, basically. Uh, so, right. Well, she's also, the only needs, they need to be fashioned. Well, they need also, to be hued. I, I can't, I can't believe I forgot this, but, um, mm. she overheard them talking about how Gon's dad made the game. Oh, that's, so, that's also true. You know, that's right. That is kind of a good reason. But it'll be. <laughs> She's like, oh yeah, my dad made this game. She's like, <laughs> no, what? <laughs> right. Yeah, her senses are all like attuned to listen right. to everything, and then she hears that. She's like, good <laughs> things will happen if I follow that. Right. Yeah. And at the very least, she can learn more about the game's potential ways if she yeah. thinks that Gon or Killua have some kind of special info. Exactly. Uh, but also, she could be playing some kind of long con on them to. She could. You know, basically become their friend and once they have a whole ton of cards you Just, know yeah she takes it take. maybe she enjoys that or something maybe maybe sure. if anything her thing is that she's in the game and she just enjoys being in the game and teaching other people how to use Nen if she finds them uh, worthy of being taught by yeah, her. Yeah, I, I, I like the idea that her character is one that actually enjoys being in this game. I mean, this is the first time she's been in the game, you think, so uh, there is that. But. Sorry. I'm, I'm completely stupid, guys. She came in with the first group of yeah. them. 
she has not been in the game that but long. but it could be something where she likes teaching people or at least displaying how or at least surprising people and it's right. like okay you think i'm a kid but right i'm actually not and i can kick your butt yeah um, one of the things that i would like to see them explore is the idea that in these games a lot of the time people will think like oh you know it's better to like steal everything from everyone else and all right. that stuff and double yeah. cross and that's how you get the best rewards right but most of the time you get the best rewards just by like finding a good party and then just doing stuff that you wouldn't out. be able to do otherwise yeah and just yeah. grinding it out and you know yeah. divvying it up evenly um right. so while i would love to see what how she would double cross them and things like that it would also be really interesting to see groups that actually just work together like the phantom right. troop like why i, I don't they... think she's going to double cross them now that i think about the fact that she was she came in with the original group of them yeah she's she's going to be with them she's going to be their new party member exactly. she's going to teach them things about nen because we did yep. theorize that because of them developing a hatsu specific techniques uh mm -hmm. their hatsu specific techniques they need someone that's going to help evolve them beyond that. Well, and she might be a perfect Nen teacher for that. Especially since Gon still hasn't developed a Hatsu technique yet. Well, he hasn't, but he's figured out how to localize his uh, aura in specific areas that can be enhanced right. for his body. Yeah, because they did say, like, enhancers don't really use Hatsu techniques as much. But, yeah, Uvo but, technically did, but... Right. Well, but yeah. it was basically like a super punch. Yeah, it was basically just as, like what Gon's probably doing right now, just on a bigger right. scale. Enhancing speed, enhancing strength, enhancing durability, enhancing right. all these things that are basically just physical aspects. They're not. Um, They're yeah. not doing anything fundamentally different. Uh, right. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah. It's not like it's not like Hiso what Hisoka was probably doing with like transmuting or enhancing or whatever combination of those for like his cards. You know. Uh, sure. Um, and even then, that's is that really like a technique? I mean, maybe, but right, they are probably just a physical. He probably just has a deck cards. of cards, and it's like, cool. I'll just and <laughs> yeah, they might not actually be uh, anything more than you know, just Nen, Nen enhanced. enhanced. Yeah. yeah, and there's some com combination of his because he should be decently good at enhancing techniques mm -hmm. because it's next to him in the hexagonal thing. But right. he's probably got also some aspect of of transmutation in there as well. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I, I, and I know this is totally off topic, but we haven't really seen Hisoka fight using cards in a long time. Well, we haven't he seen Hisoka fight in a long time. Well, that too. That too. <laughs> yeah. Because but, he got stiffed out of the fight with Krolo. Uh, <laughs> right. But even but even when he fought Gon, he didn't use his cards. He was using his bungee gum and stuff. All oh, right. The cards are just a thing he maybe, plays with. Yeah. Maybe, maybe his cards are just like his basic thing that he does. It's a just, brand thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like ah, oh, I'm a clown. Cards, those are in brand, right? Yeah, maybe it's yeah. a way to make people think he's an enhancer. Or no. yeah, that's true. I mean, or a conjurer, like he thinks that you know that because uh, he's next to the uh, conjuring technique, sure. he thinks that those cards are conjured cards. Or maybe, or they could actually be conjured cards too. That's another that good point. Enhances. Like, but, anyways, um, that's completely to, off topic. Yeah, back, back to, to Greed the, Island. Back so, to Greed Island. So they are now going to Masadora, right. the magic mm -hmm. city of sorts. Of and, plot relevance. Yes. And now we have the Phantom Troop we in there do. as well with Shalnar, uh, Shizuku, and Kortopi. Right. And we've learned a little bit more about how the game's mechanics that, work. I, I love that. Because so, that, was, that was one of the things I was thinking about. Like, okay, I, uh -huh. I get like doing doing really cool things with Nen. Right. But creating an entire world, that is ridiculous. Like, right. And we don't know that it's fully created because right. there might be some aspect of it that's representative of a part in the real world well, according and now we're, to we're, Shalnark's deductions. Right. And now we're pretty sure that that is what it is. And, it's pro and maybe it's some place that's just like hidden, right? Uh, um, right, and then and they use Nen why, to make the the NPCs. Right, and that might be why Jing doesn't want to be found. You know, Jing is in an area of the world that's undiscovered at this point, or something, and he's actually uh, exploring it. Sure. See, now they they brought that Possibly. up. I actually think we could encounter Jing in Greed Island. I don't think we will, just because story reasons. But I also right. think that it's not outside the realm of possibilities now. Because uh, if this is an actual new area in the world that people don't generally, you know, go to because they don't have the ability to, it might be, you know, something like a pocket dimension created by a bunch of end users. Or 
it's an actual island hidden in the ocean. Right. Like, I like that one. I like that one more. Okay. Yeah. Because because that also allows for more awesomeness from the Phantom Troop because that means they can just steal a bunch of items and take them away somewhere. Sure. But that introduces a whole nother set of questions. Making this game would have been very difficult because they Extremely would have had, difficult. Because they would have had to make all the items too. All the very different items that mm-hmm. probably do very different things. So I mean they probably had every like every corner or uh, vertex of the hexagon represented when they made the game. Uh, but still. Okay, so so here's where I think that you might be taking this a little bit too far. I think that you're right in that the making of the game is really difficult, but actually once you've made the game, the cards are pretty easy. Because the game sets... If you think about it like developing an actual video game, once you've developed the code by which the video game itself runs, you then just assign parameters to specific items sure. within the game's code and then that works right. what I'm more interested about is that if there's any connection to the real world what happens if they just decide to run in any given direction do they hit an invisible wall at some point oh see can well, they it, actually well, leave okay. the game without leaving the game well you know it's I mean? greed island so it could just be that they get to an endless ocean well that's know? the thing or a seemingly that, endless that, ocean that, that would, that's the thing is it an endless ocean probably not and it's probably just something where they think it's an endless ocean because they think oh this is the game this is the mm-hmm. boundary of the game no one bothers to go out and if they do they certainly don't tell anybody if but that's they find the thing. out that it's that's the thing island. that's the difficult thing that they would probably have to code in with whoever right. created this with Nen is the uh the system by which no one can accidentally stumble into the game and uh, no one right. can actually leave the game there by could be choice like a, without using an item. There could be like a Nen barrier or something that like does but, illusion trickery or something. Right, but then just someone either has to break it or just keep going through it. That's my point, right. is that there has to be something that's coded into it that removes that. And I know we're thinking about things that are completely non... like, like non Not issues. important in yeah. terms of the story, but... This is tied into the fact that Jing helped make this. Right. What kind of freaking abilities does he and his friends yeah, have that make this? And and I know that you said that the whole card thing probably wasn't that complicated, but like, if these cards can be used in the real world, that is, Jacob. The game consoles exist. Those are just cards, basically. The game console is an item that has Nen infused into it that gives it certain properties that can transfer a body. And aura and everything into another world. Well, right, but like with the cards don't seem that crazy when you think about it that way. Um, sure. Also, I guess because the cards are self-interacting with each other, it well, makes it so that it's not really a, not really a crazy thing when you think about it. No, I'm more talking about when the cards are taken completely out of the context of the game. And, and the the thing with the the teleporting them to the island that I can at least get behind because right. it's something that is consistent. Right? They they plug the thing in, they put their hatsu into it, and then they're teleported. Right? So if you right. had someone that could do something that would teleport them, then great. That's sure. Covered. But with the insane variety that you would have to make these cards, uh-huh. like, that seems like you would almost need to be, like, a specialist that can just make I- make magic items, basically. Well, yeah, like, but, but that doesn't seem very... No, I suppose not. That doesn't seem very difficult. It's just like, okay, yeah, I make magic items. items. Yeah. yeah. If Cortopi can copy them without even any right. effort... Why does it make them sure. really special? Like, I think Cortopi probably would have difficulty copying something the more complex it is. So if you can just copy a card, maybe he has easy, dif- easy. it's easy for him to copy a rock card, but if he wants to copy a god eye card or well, a, what was the, it, the blessing of the archangel, the, the breath, breath of, the, of the archangel, breath of the archangel, maybe well, that one would take a little bit of time. Well, the, the rock card that he copied didn't work. No, I know, but he still was able to copy the card aspect of it. If he wanted to copy the rock, he totally could have too. He can't copy a thing that uh, can do what the card does. Right, exactly, because I'm guessing I'm guessing Cortopi um, can only copy the actual physical aspects of something, not right. not whatever Nen properties it might yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Um, but it'll be that but that's why I'm so curious to see how they handle the items and stuff, especially when they get into the powerful items. Right. Because anything that they introduce here could be something that could be brought out into the real world and with the Phantom Troop here, a lot oh. of them probably will be. And this brings back up your theory of uh, either last episode or the couple episodes ago, where the Phantom Troop is going into Greed Island specifically to acquire an item that will remove right. the Nen on Crollo. That, that makes some sense now. Or at the very Shalnark least just to is, steal a bunch of really good stuff. Well, that too. But also I could see Shalnark looking at this and going, okay, we need 
specific items that do these things because they would be very helpful. And he right. gets basically his three wishes if he yeah. you know, wins yeah. the game, clears exactly. the game. Exactly. Okay, these three items get to come out. Yep. Like, well, that's that's a big deal, especially if they get to know what all the cards potentially are. And we now right. know that there's all kinds of cards that give that kind of details, like God's Eye, yep. List, you know, whole, all kinds of things like well, that. Well, and the fact that that was, just, that was just the rewards for clearing the game, but if they can leave the game without clearing the game with items, then they could bring a whole lot more than three. Mm-hmm. Like, oh boy. Yeah. The, they're adding a power system to be used in combination with a power system. Right. Which like, is not why just I'm, in the game. Right, which is why I'm thinking it's not going to be as big as we're making it out to be. Because sure. it's, just, it's just too much for Hunter Okay, Hunter. yeah. But, I think that the, the game concepts and stuff are very cool inside the game, but I think the Phantom Troop will end up banging their head against the wall trying to bring out items before uh, they've cleared the game. Sure, that would that would be really interesting to see them really struggle with something like that, where it's, yeah, like and yeah. even if they do bring them out, it might be that they're not brought out and they have the same effectiveness that you'd think. Like they wouldn't actually be, you know, anything more than cards Possibly. or something like that. That would be a really cool thing to see if this game is something that's made like that. That the Phantom Troop are gonna be like, oh, we we are the first person to have thought to leave the game with items before clearing it. Ha! Yeah, yeah. You good. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. And then when they try to sure. leave, it's like, well, crap. Or maybe they're able to get like one or two items, maybe. But uh, right. Well, and we'll one see. of the one of the things we'll that see. they've done here is they've done a really good job of having rules for whatever things they introduce, even for like right. the random monsters and things like that. So they'll probably do that for the items as well. Yeah. So that it's not some god rock that you know you just suddenly like oh yay I do. <laughs> whatever because i right. have the god rock you know um specifically with uh the characters having kind of this uh well gone and kill in particular mm-hmm. having this uh kind of whimsical aspect of just kind of exploring uh-huh. the game and stuff I, I think that by bringing in biscuit into the story they're they're basically laying down a little bit more of a focused kind of direction for the characters and I um, wonder if that's going yeah, to take sure. away from their kind of exploratory mindset. Possibly. Or if she's going to get but, kind of wrapped, un- wrapped up into their fun as well. I think it could be a bit of both. I think okay. what they're doing is they're introducing a contrast and a conflict between the characters with their okay. introduction so that, they can, so that you can get to know them a lot more quickly, right? Uh, not, yes. just, not just yes. this biscuit person, but also how her and Gon and Killa all interact. Right. And um, it could be something where if she is the one kind of driving the plot since they're mm-hmm. going around having fun and just enjoying the game, right? Um, that could also be a great way to make us care more about this new character because she's keeping things moving. Sure. Okay. okay. Um, so, But with that being said, we are still getting introduced to the game. We are. Now, yeah. this is something that I, I feel like Hunter x Hunter does a, a little bit of a a little bit of a good job with, but a little bit of a slow job with, in that sure, the decision to have certain things happen in a specific order, like, yeah. why have, you know, all, all this stuff happen up until now before we get to monsters? I'm excited to see how they make things come full, and like, in, come into a full package deal here with regards to the story, because mm-hmm. I don't see how it all connects fully yet. Right. What, what seems to have happened is that they said, all right, we uh we have this world that is the world of Hunter Hunter. Right. And now within that world of Hunter Hunter, we're going to create a virtual world, which will also which is, which is not a virtual world. Fully. Which is not a virtual world fully, but it has all kinds of rules and stuff to make it seem like it's a whole nother world within this fictional world. Right. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. That is that is a lot of world building. Yeah, I, I feel like I feel like with that the uh, uh, is it Tagashi? Yes, Tagashi. Yes. Uh, the... Yes, it's Tagashi. Uh, Tagashi has a little bit of a desire to be known for doing this. Sure. And just for people to know that he's good at it. And I think right. we I think we get it, buddy. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you don't need to show off. Like, oh, we no. understand you're good at making these systems and things. No, 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 Caleb, haven't you figured it out? He's not showing off yet. Oh no, I know Jacob. I'm saying that he doesn't need to actually show off. Like Right. But he will anyway, just for good measure. Right. 
Right. It's something that I feel like I have to kind of get over. But this is the kind of storyline where you're delaying, uh, you're delaying advancement of the plot for the purpose of adding bigger context to everything. Right. The and slow burn. And well, that's 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 a nice way of putting it. But but really, it's mm. but really, it's 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 something to where we have gone and killed as the main right. kind of agents mm-hmm. for this. And we have all the other characters that are there because they were hired by, uh, they were right. hired by the guy to finish the game yep. and stuff. Mm-hmm. But we have little reason to follow those characters. Uh, in right. Yeah. Like the the parts where they where they show that group of people, I get the feeling it's because it's, it's it, literally just there to exposit to us more about the game and potentially set up some big conflict because they are. They are doing what we would traditionally expect people to do in a video game. Yes. Trying to game the system. Yeah. And I'm guessing there's going to be some dire consequences, whether positive for them and bad for everyone else, or bad yes. for them. We, yes. We know that there are antagonists within the game that go around killing people. Right. And those that are... Like Phaeton and Finx. No, I'm not talking about Phaeton and Finx. I'm talking about the people that, like, literally exploded that one guy. And they made mention right. of That's some true. character or characters out yeah. there that are known to have potentially been a part of that. And I think what they're right. then doing is basically just showing that there will be different groups of Nen users that will end up in some kind of card battle, essentially. Right. Card slash Nen battle with each other. And they're more just drawing up some, uh, some understanding mm-hmm. of the moving factions of sorts within that. But it, it seems like... This is something where it could end up being where they bite off more than they can chew. Uh, possibly, possibly, because they are wanting to make sure we know that there that in this game there quite literally are a lot of players involved. Right. Mm-hmm. So, and yeah. hey, congrats! Like that's something that I'd say a lot of kind of video game type stories don't really communicate. They no, go a little true. bit of the simpler route and just Binary. focus on a single character or a, two characters, a pair. And right, or, or a group of people against one other group of people. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But in this, by adding in these people and the Phantom Troop, yep. and potentially having that other group of antagonists out uh-huh. there that we haven't met yet, yep. uh, it makes things a little bit a little bit complicated. Just preference-wise, I would have preferred that they spend more time with the Phantom Troop because we've already established them as characters, and well, the way they seamlessly yeah, kind of joined like, into the game, along with Gon and Killa, mm-hmm. is way more compelling in the That's grand true. scheme of things. Plus, they're the Phantom Troop. Well, so. not only that they're the Phantom Troop, is we've never seen them in this dynamic before. Uh, they're right. subject to the whims of something it's, else. Well, they're subject and, to the whims of something else, but also, very importantly, it's something where they're not acting under the direct orders of their leader. Because before, we, we saw Hisoka doing his thing, but Hisoka okay. is Hisoka, right? We saw okay. Machi approaching him, but even then, it was under the orders of Krolo of, hey, we're getting the, we're getting the band together. You sure. Know, get ready. And this is where they're going, and, and they probably have some ob- group objective that we don't know about yet, mm-hmm. but they're all going about it in their own different ways. Uh, yeah, I don't think that they have a group objective outside of what Shalnark wants. Shalnark gotcha. has a group objective. And but he Finks just and asked, Fae-Tan are probably just... Finks and Fae-Tan went in there particularly, I think, because they're members of the Phantom Troop, and they think this would be fun. Sure. Um, if anything, I think them introducing the game concept to Shalnark was what kicked off the idea in Shalnark's mind to have some kind of group objective, yeah. which could be what you theorized about them getting something to help Krolo. But I like the idea that they just went in. They just decided, sure, Ed, this not? is cool, let's yeah. go in there. Mm-hmm. I think that's actually interesting because we don't know everything about the characters of the Phantom Troop. And obviously by them giving more screen time right. to the Phantom Troop members, they're yep. saying that, mm-hmm. hey, these characters will be important in the future. Exactly. They will be people that will stick around through the story. But these other characters that are kind of new and basically thrown in there because mm-hmm. this is a new arc, I can't get as behind them right. as the At Phantom least certainly Troop. not right now because we'd need you know time with them and to, to show that they're more than just faceless characters that were thrown into a game. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm not. I'm not trying to be like overtly pessimistic, but I. I doubt right, because that's that. a very small aspect of this arc. It is. It is. I just. I just. I don't believe that yeah. we will. We are supposed to get attached to them. Right. And after after they split from Gon and Kilwa, you know, it's like we care about them even less because they're not near the main characters. So mm-hmm. how much can they really like? How much do they really matter? You right. Know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But the, because yeah. the girl 
went uh, uh-huh. Biscuit because she went to Gone and Kill a... Uh, no, I'm like, interested to see what she does with that, exactly. especially because her personality is one that yes. I, I love to see it bounce off uh, Killwas in particular, yeah, that's, and how Gone is just rolls along with uh-huh. it. It's, it's fantastic. That's one of those things that I really wish stories did more, is when there are characters that seem very much to be sort of like side characters, where they're supposed mm-hmm. to be there for a little bit and then go, and you know, and that's their thing that they do, and that's fine. Sure. Um, a lot of times, they don't have as much personality. Right. Which is fine, because you don't want them to get too attached and then be like, oh no, we never see that character again. And we got stuff like that with like Hanzo and, and sure. you know, and those people in the Hunter exam. Right. Um, so so Hunter, Hunter Hunter does a better job of that than a lot of stories, but just in general, that's something I see that I would I would like to see changed in that, those side characters that aren't necessarily very important to just, you know, give them, give them some flavor. Right, right. If anything, Hunter Hunter is poking holes at the idea that efficiency is always a good thing. Right. And or the best thing. Or, well, no. Uh, yes, it's oh, obviously yeah, yeah. not always the best thing. But uh, poking sure. fun that it's even it's even at all a good thing because you can actually have good info dumps. You can have right. good just meandering scenes of people adventure. just meandering around yeah or yeah. just standing around talking. There's mm-hmm. a lot of there's a lot of validity to those things. Right. And I think that you know, my coming from a different t- style of storytelling, I have sure. to adjust to it, and that's yeah. that's fine. But um, they've set up something really unique in this arc, particularly by having these things go a certain way with all the moving groups. Right. So I'm yeah, looking forward to that. Yeah, that makes it seem like they're like, okay, this is going to be an epic story, like like kind of like uh, what you would do with like an epic fantasy where you have all the different perspectives. Not that we care about that one group as much as say the Phantom Troop, but yeah, not yeah. I, I think we're still thinking about this differently. Okay, but whatever. Fine. That's cool. That, that's cool. all right, guys. Yeah. We're gonna end this one here. But if you want to watch the next two episodes of Hunter Hunter for our reactions, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early yes. access. Which also comes with Discord access. You can chat with us about whatever. And yeah, we'll see you there. But until then, we're semblance of sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next, next time. time.